What's up, it's Angela Yee, and this is Lip Service, and it's time for us to give a toast to the woman on top presented by Delion. So we're gonna give a nice Delion toast to my girl, Amina Daniels. Now, Amina Daniels owns Live Cycle Delight. It's actually a hot yoga and cycling studio that is based in Detroit. After working for 10 years in luxury retail management and client service assistance in New York City, Atlanta, and LA, she headed back to Detroit. She started shaping her business idea back in 2013, but unfortunately life happens and she was hit by a car before she could get her company off the ground. She broke her ankle, her knee and her back were injured and her jaw was fractured. And even after two surgeries, she still has limited mobility in her ankle and she had to wear a knee brace. So at that point, she could have given up on her idea of opening up that studio, but instead that accident changed her life and she continued on with her dream. Her dream was to open that studio. It seemed out of reach at first, but she said uh, she ended up enrolling in a retail boot camp and she arrived at the classes with her ankle in a cast, but she was very changed. She said she was in physical therapy. She saw people that were using walkers and canes and she felt like something like Live Cycle Delight would be much needed for people who wanted to move toward a healthier life. She wanted to have something for people of all levels of activity. So that is how Live Cycle Delight was formed and started. It is the city's first indoor cycle studio. It also caters to outdoor bikers. I actually go there and that's where I do my yoga whenever I'm in Detroit. And when I tell you she is amazing, so congratulations to Amina Daniels, Live Cycle Delight. Much, much, much well-deserved. And I can't wait to do some more things for you. We're actually planning on doing something here in Brooklyn. So Amina, here's to you. What's up, what's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Passport Cuddy. And we have our guest. Cristina Molina, acá sexy Vanessa. Christina, Mo how did you get sexy Vanessa from Christina Molina? Well, it's a long story, but we had to start from the beginning. So I think I'm going to get there. All right, let me make a drink while you tell your story. Let's do it. <laughs> well, I was born in, in Argentina, Buenos Aires, Argentina. I want everybody knows because in the internet, they said I'm from Morocco. Casablanca, Morocco. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they come out from that. But um, I don't. I didn't live too long in Argentina until 18 years old. It's when I moved to Mexico. So I started to work in shows, in theater, cabaret, as a showgirl. I'm a singer and dancer. Nice. So that's the way I was discovered one night and the place I was working for a Mexican manager um, he invited me to Mexico to work in the big production in Mexico. So I had a big contract, my work visa, and then we decided to move to Mexico. Did that pay really well back then for you? By then, yes, it was the 70s. And Mexico was really well because it was, Mexico was fabulous in the 70s. It was a lot of money there, yeah. But my career was short. Uh, I mean, it was cut short. I only was eight years uh, working in Mexico. And I made the wrong decision to, uh, I was involved with a politician, a big politician there that is so wrong. It's a big, biggest mistake you can do is date a politician. It's really big. Uh, but I did it. Um, it cost me my career because I have to leave the country. Then they gave me two, I have, I have a big, it was a biggest scandal in Mexico, huge scandal because it was very close the politician of the president uh, uh, and the wife found out everything that was by then Miguel de la Madrid the president so during that presidency I had to leave the country until he leaves wait 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 so he was the politician you were dating was married yeah yeah but the other old Mary no <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh, no, the, the old Mary, no. <laughs> how did the, how did the wife how did the wife find out? He found that was the biggest scandal and was in every newspaper. I was horrible what happened to me because I have a beautiful career and in two days I have to pack with my mother and my dog and leave the country. That was horrible. So then I went back to Argentina, to Buenos Aires. But the Los Almada, the biggest actors and producers, so they invited me to, they were a, a, a filming two movies in Bronzeville, Texas. So mm -hmm. from Buenos Aires, they flew me 
to este, Bronzeville, Texas, to work in these two productions. So I stayed there for a while in Bronzeville, Texas, but I didn't want to go back to Argentina. And I had to wait like four more years for this president to leave, to come back to, to, to Mexico. Yeah. But long story, I have a huge okay. fan and friend, Mexican, um, uh, flew to Bronzeville, um, invited me to Miami. Um, he told me, well, let's get married. And if we are married for sure, it's not going to be a problem to come back to Mexico. I said, okay. And guess what? We get married and we're going to France for a month. And I never was in France. I was, I wanted to go I to, for, I wanted to, go to France for a month with him for vacation. No? I said, oh, well, wonderful. Now I get married. I go one month to France. I go shopping to Paris. Um, yes. I can go back to Mexico. No? Well, I hate this guy. I'm telling you, I hate him. I was horrible <laughs> this Oh my God, that was the worst decision. And when we came back to Miami after that horrible month in France, because you can be in paradise, okay? But if you're with the wrong person, it's a nightmare. It's like, it's- Wait, uh, back up her, one second. So you got married. Did you get married so that you could stay in the country or what did you, or yeah, were you, exactly, you- Yes, I got married. So I thought I could come back to Mexico, but mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> No. So we went to Mexico from Miami. I said, I go to Mexico and I'm divorced him. I can't stand this guy. I was going to kill him. So then uh, <laughs> we go to in the, in the airport. They stop us. No, you, 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 Christina Molina can't come to the country. Whatever. I go back to Miami uh, when I we decided to, to split, you know. Mm -hmm. So then I stay in Miami and the, his apartment in Miami Beach. Um, he that's nice to Mexico. Yeah, a very nice apartment. That's not, Miami Beach. Beach is nice. What what was so bad? What was so bad about him that you wanted to kill him? Uh, I hate him until even when he was breathing. I I, <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, please can you stop breathing. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. Everything I was But like what? What did he do? Was he ugly? Well, was he mean? Well, first of all, he was much older than me. And I always oh, love younger gosh. men, you know, much older. Mm -hmm. So um no, we didn't get along at all. He was like my shadow, you know what I mean? Follow me all over the place like a shadow. Control. I mean oh yeah, like a shadow. You know, never yeah. because he was retired, whatever, nothing to do. Like a shadow, follow me, whatever. <laughs> Ah, I couldn't breathe, no space, terrible. And uh, everything about him was terrible. So, but we, we separate, we got divorced, and I stay in Miami. When I met one Asian, I started working in, in cabarets in Miami and theater, doing my thing, my show, because I love being in the stage. It's the stage was my passion, you know? I'm, it sounds so, like it's still your passion. Mm -hmm. And then I, I worked for for a, a year, some years, and then 87 is when I met my second husband. And mm -hmm. that meant I love, I love that guy. Uh, I love my there second we go. husband. But it didn't last long, only three years. Mm -hmm. I was so much love uh, uh, between us and everything was perfect. But when something is so perfect, I don't know which is the reason doesn't last forever, you know? Mm -hmm. Was it, was um, the sex amazing? Amazing, amazing everywhere in the boat, in the beach, <laughs> in the dead, in the da, everywhere. So, yeah, the sex was amazing, but was only one problem. My what? husband was a was a drug smuggler, no, the 80s, oh. you know what I mean? A big thing in Miami. Um, yeah. the third year they took him, that was my luck, you know, my they took oh, no. years from me. So, so one day I have know. everything. We have the love, the passion, the youth, the money, all the money to spend. And we have everything. And next day is gone. Everything is gone. It was horrible. So I, my husband, his husband went to church for 10 years. I tried to wait, you know, 10 years for mm -hmm. him. I tried, but I fall in That's marriage. a long time. Yeah, yeah 10 yeah. years is a, listen, I'm sorry, but <laughs> nobody is waiting 10 years. I'm not ten months. <laughs> yeah, ten months is a long time. I don't know but, about but, ten but years. I'm, I support him. I support him. The ten years I support him. I was there with him, whatever. So then, but I fall in love again. 
so good. a much a much mm. younger man much yes 17 years younger that's what i told you I guess. did you tell did you tell him while he was in jail that you were in love with somebody else no and no no i could i didn't even tell him that uh, i destroyed him i couldn't he had his whole, whole vision was to get out in 10 years and be with me again together we get together again but no, you should i try i try that. but it's, it's too, too long and more when no, you're that in love was going crazy in there and no more when you're in love with somebody you're in love with somebody else it's hard you know what i mean so that passion no, was that was a good choice did you tell him before he got out that you got somebody no, or no but no no when he got out when he got out he moved with me okay because you know it was like house arrest you know how it's house arrest whatever he moved with me um and i tried but i couldn't the passion was there no passion from my side not his side of course he didn't see anything in 10 years but nothing everything was dead it's amazing how can die such a huge love and that passion so big passion dies like this you know when yeah you know, but the and... lifestyle the lifestyle was gone too it, it, that that was part of the love no lifestyle yeah. and you're you were in love with and, and you were in love you're like no and you're in yeah. love with somebody else and it's hard to be in love with two people right that. yeah and and the sex with my my this boyfriend that i had much younger than me was even better was right. outrageous you know what i mean that's <laughs> it's, and i am a very oh, i'm a very sexual passionate woman and i have to have that young vibrant passionate man with energy you know that's what i can go with you know what i mean so hey, girlfriend yeah that's what so what about the older guy when you had sex with him what was that like yeah believe me or not he he was really good in oral all he could do he was really <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, man <laughs> Yeah. Well, so then uh, this young boyfriend, a lover, no, he was more like a lover. Um, we started uh, like our relationship was very open. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do we start playing with other couples? Um, um, we used to love threesomes. I also, he, I used to bring my best girlfriends <laughs> to be with, with him and with, with us. Because yeah, I, feel more comfort, I, feel, I feel more comfortable with a girlfriend and a girl I know very well than one stranger, you know what I mean? It's, it's just more like uh, intimate. What do you think? Well, <laughs> when, you, when, you said, when you said other couples, would he be with other men also? No, 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 no. No, we are. Okay. We were like a little swingers, you know what I mean, in that in that lifestyle. Um, mm -hmm. And then we started to record filming each other having sex. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. we, we started that way, and I just I love it. It's just so much fun to re film your own movie. Your your. your you know, um, and watch after make you so horny, you know, watch your <laughs> movie with your partner. It's, it's really hard. It's, uh, and that, then I, we did a lot, it, 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 move videos, movies, and I start like a, a website, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With the, because we used to have so much options. So I said, well, we have to make money with it. You know what I mean? So, and so, but then, in 2002, it's a this kind in the Christina Molina to sexy Vanessa. Uh, right. I have the invitation Reality Kings, that is a big, huge production in Miami. I know if you all know uh, Reality Kings, invite me to do the first movie for Mel Hunter. Uh, oh, Mel Hunters. Mother, I, I am like the, the Yeah. I am <laughs> the first Mel ever. I want to tell you, I am the first male. Wow. Well, you and look, and friend. listen, you look amazing too. What an amazing milf you are. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then my face was in the top of the site for a long, long time. I was the first male. And I can tell you, because of me, all the other males now, they are working so much because 
of me because I was the first to start the whole melt the older women with the younger guys. And it's, it's hot, it's huge. How old you know? were you then? Huh? How old were you then? When you uh, first? Uh, well, yeah, no. uh, when I first started, to, uh, I was in the 40s. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? Marshy, how, old I, how old I am. So then it's the. Um, and then it's the way it started. So I, in that movie, I used my name, Christina, okay? But mm -hmm. I said, no, 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 we're going to change the name because I don't want to be relative with right. Christina Molina, you know, something completely yeah. different, you know? <laughs> so then I become sexy. Vanessa Bella first was my first name, Vanessa Bella. But it was too many Bellas, Bella, Bella, Bella. And I said, why not sexy Vanessa? Uh, my ex wife says, You are very sexy. Why not sexy Vanessa? It's huge. I love it. Yes, it's very good. I like sexy Vanessa <laughs> because it's easy to remember. You know what I mean? It's, you know, and everybody says that uh, it should be perfect, the name. <laughs> Yeah, would you rather us call you Christina or Sexy Vanessa on this podcast? Oh, you can you call prefer? me Christina. You can call me Christina. Yeah. So, Christina, let me ask you this: Are you do you perform differently when the camera is on when you're having sex and you know you're being filmed? Like, what's different when you know it's a production? Uh, well, it's the pen also. Um, like I love sex, no, but sometimes. You don't have the same chemistry with every actor. They're going to put there in the set. You're going to find in the set. So, you know, it is what it is. You don't have chemistry with everybody. So sometimes it's amazing and you don't even have to act. And sometimes you have to act because the chemistry is not there. That's what matters. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but I just love to perform in front of the camera. I don't know why that made me very excited. Just a lot. I don't know. It just made me hot. What so, I did. Yeah. I mean, I I like doing videos where you know, like uh, you know, sex videos. I'm not gonna lie. I like to see myself. Of course, everybody I think, does. I think she's right. It does make you really horny to see yourself perform. Yeah. Yes, even but with a boyfriend. For me, the with the yeah. difference, like when the camera's on, the difference, like. I'm a little more extra because I know how I want it to come out. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. I want yeah. It to yeah. Like, you, you have so to I'm a little more, more extra. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's true. You're more <laughs> like, uh, like you have to put more of you uh, uh, than we know. Exactly. Out, like you know like I mean? just a little more oomph. <laughs> more. I'm more for more for than if the camera wasn't there. Yeah. 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 yeah when Were the you shy was... the first time? The first time that you did those type of videos, were, was it different? Were you shy? No, really. I just am natural. No, I, I'm never shy. No, I'm natural. Well, I had to tell you something. My boyfriend and me, we have a lot of practice. Um, <laughs> we, also, we also have sex in the beach, in the nude beach, in front of a uh, Kia is a nude beach in Miami that by then, in the 90s, you know, I don't think so now you can no more, but uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you could have sex in the beach relaxing and, and people having sex was crazy that beach, you know, but now it's with more police controlling so you cannot do that anymore. So, but I did it and I'm happy I did it. So I have a lot of, you know, I experienced a lot. So it's, I, so I looked at some of your videos, so I have some questions. <laughs> you know, I did. So look, I saw one with you and this old guy, right? Was that hard for you to do? Because you don't really like older men. No, but it's the pen. No, it's the pen. Well, I mean, there, are some, there are some older men that are hot. You know what I mean? It's the pen the men. Like, uh, age is a number. It's not true. Age is a number. It's true. I said some older men, they look better than some young guys. You know what I mean? It's the pen the men. Some older, mm -hmm. I met in my life older men, Feet and gorgeous, and they look much better than a guy ten years <laughs> You know, so it's age is a number, and here is one exception. You know, you, you can you can see me. It's just a number. It's like the young guys. Sometimes you know, a young guy follow me. You know, in the street, or want my phone number, whatever. On the store, in the shopping center, happened to me. You know, I said, I ask him, how old are you? 24, 25. Well, you know, I can be your mother. I said. Mm. 
she says, <laughs> a, she says a she's a number i said you're right <laughs> <laughs> Now I saw the strap. I saw some of the strap on too. So you like using a strap on, right? Yes, yes. I love you. So strap on. But I see. Okay, so this is weird to me, right? When you actually like suck on the strap on, because I feel like is that just for the visual of it? Because nobody can feel yeah. anything. No, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's for, for, for the visual, for the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys love to see me sucking something. You know what I mean? If I don't have the real thing near me, so I suck the dildo, so it's good, you know, <laughs> the division. <laughs> what is your favorite type of scene? My favorite what? Scene, like what is your favorite type of scene for the videos? I love, I love threesomes. Mm -hmm. I love uh, also, you know, younger guys. Um, I did a, also, I have a, a, a it be the movie that is the name is Fifty Shades of Vanessa, but it's all <laughs> about this domination and um, hardcore. It, it, that was filmed in the dungeon that was really hard. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that film very much when the men take me in control because I'm always in control, I'm very dominant, right? But sometimes I love to switch, and in that movie, I have all these young guys that are in control and. And the, I really enjoyed that. Well, it's one of my favorites, Fifty Shades of Vanessa. Yeah, I love that one. I'm going to look at that one. Fire. Yeah, I'm going to look at that one, too. <laughs> so listen, if, OK, so let's just say, um, Stephanie, Passport Cuddy, have y'all ever used a strap on before? No, not on so, someone else. You never so used a strap on? So mm -hmm. what are some advice you could give us if we're like want to try that out and get a strap on? Like, What's the difference in strap ons? How do you know which one to get? Well, it depends which size you like, you know, you have a, the tremendous size, a medium, uh -uh. It's whatever, you know. Are you like, are you like big one? No, like not big tremendous. One. Tremendous is too much. I don't want a tremendous no, dick. No, that's like something normal, like uh, seven inches, something like regular, you know what I mean? You, yeah, you have you ever had anybody. a dick? Right. Have you ever had a dick that was too big and you couldn't do it? Oh, yeah. No, I don't like those huge. When I it's see something like that, it's like, hello. <laughs> no, I'm not, uh, honey, I don't have no children, okay? So I'm pretty small there. <laughs> so, yeah. When, and they may find that they may think it's a great thing to have something huge, it's, and they're wrong. Nah, they're not going to have too much. They're not going to have no activity, these men. They just, mm -hmm. all, all they're going to do is masturbation because who's going to have that? Uh, tremendous thing so like, and you can't you can't even you can't even suck it like i'm not sucking no tremendous you can you, can, you, just, you cannot do anything you cannot suck you know you can do nothing with that thing so, and then, what do you do with that thing nothing so you gotta I use both away. hands and you gotta look aside put it away put it away <laughs> I just that's ran. a shame. I'm, please, I said, run, catch me if you can. <laughs> what about too small? Have you ever had one that was too small and you were like, no, that's too small. I can't feel anything. When it, when it, when it's too small, I say, just use your tongue. You know what I mean? And it's good. So <laughs> when it's too small, mm -hmm. use the tongue. And the tongue sometimes can be better. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> sometimes orgasmos, oral, oral, orgasmos, oral. Sometimes they are more intense, like very strong, than mm. regular. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you don't think so? I mean, I love my. my they oral. have, they yeah, they have. Listen, if you have a really small dick, you have to be good at oral. That's what oh, you know. The rule yeah. is. I but I was yeah. with somebody. Mm -hmm. I was with somebody for like a little hot second, and Let, little. Oh, you know, he didn't have a very he didn't have a very <laughs> big dick, and he used to be eating my pussy all the time, eating my pussy all the time, eating my pussy all the time, and it was cool, <laughs> you know, for that little hot second. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was already over it. Every time yeah. I would lay on the bed, he would find a way to be eating my pussy. It's like, <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> well, you want that is too much. It says it's too much. I won't I can't relax around you. I, I, I can't relax. like continue to do it with somebody who got a small one. Like I've had a small one before, but I wasn't continuing to do it with them. No, right. you would like you it. cannot do much. No, no. But also, you could do like, anal. 
I do anal, yeah, I can do anal. Do you like to do anal? I like anal. No, I mean, I'm not yeah, of course, it has to be normal, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like normal, regular, like seven inches is fine, you know, no problem. That's pretty big. That's, seven inches is not uh, okay. That's a nice yeah, size. I, 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 I can get a seven inches there. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah. <laughs> it's the width for me. I don't care about the length. It's the width. It's, the it's, yes, it's, it's not the length. It's the width. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't matter yeah. uh, the, because you, uh, the, well, the you width. Know. Uh, the, that is the. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember the first time you, you remember the first time you did anal? Uh, yes. It didn't go well. <laughs> uh, 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 and, and guess what? What's in the thing? Uh, I didn't know I was I was gonna I had to have anal. And so oh. I had this talent. Uh, Shawn Michaels, I don't know if he's very famous. Shawn Michaels is very good lover. Oh my god, he is a lover. So then Oh my God, he's he's big, you know what I mean? I said, Oh my God, uh, how this is gonna work? I told the the photographer, Well, uh, it's my first time. You gonna have to give me time. So Michael told her, just leave us alone. I take care of this. Leave us alone, and, and they leave me alone with him. Also, oh, um, your first angle experience was on yes. him. Oh, wow, on. that's hard. Oh, wow, 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 ah, wow. But listen to me, but this guy is un artista. Is is oh my god, is the best lover ever. He <laughs> for some reason I don't know how he did it so smooth, so slow, take his time, to his time, to his time. Was, and we did it. That was one of my best scenes. We did it. It was wow. amazing scene. It was great. Wow. That's hard yeah, because it's hard to you gotta relax. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, he made, I feel I fell with him. Also, we have the chemistry, and I feel very relaxed with him, very comfortable. You need to feel very comfortable, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, but, but not everybody can do it, and not all the guys can do it. Not women, the right. guys they they right. think that it has to be boom. I know you have to take your time, a relaxed operator, mm -hmm. you know, not like you during any of the scenes. Like before the scenes, do you ever get like drunk? Uh, before the scenes, some wine. You yeah, gotta drink, have a drink. No, 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 no. No, you no, cannot have a drink you know. uh, before the scene. No, oh, also no? they. No, you can't. No, also they record uh, and they they ask you are you the influence of this oh, drugs, alcohol? I said no, no, you can't. But after yes, I have my wine. I know a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I need it. <laughs> who is so? I who was the it. best? Who was the best partner you ever had that you would say, okay, if you ever have a chance to have sex with this person, you should do it. In, in the industry, a talent. Yeah, in the industry. In no, the, the talent. Industry, the talent. Where well, this guy, Sean Michaels, is one of the best I have, and mm -hmm. I have another, another. Uh, Talent. His name is Christian, and he's a huge guy, but really great talent. He can lift you with a finger like that, like you're a feather. <laughs> wow. Yes, it's like what? six, five, strong, and he's great. So one of them, they're my two favorites. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now like I see you. Choo, 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 like nothing, you know, like a feather. And I went one. I went that. one baby. <laughs> I love that. Now, I see you also dated Andy Gibb from the Bee Gees. Yes, I met Andy before my husband in 85. I met Andy in a, a big club in Stanbury Isle. Is, uh, um, I was living in Tambury by them. Uh, and uh, this place has a nice club that in the 80s was really hot. Um, Miami was hot in the 80s, you know, all the movie stars they were coming yes. and actors and oh, it was the hottest. I am so happy I lived that time because now it's not. <laughs> but anyway, so, but I did it. And the best time in Florida on, was the 80s, it was the best. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. So there was this party um, that the Bichis, there were, uh, there was a party for the Bichis. And I was with my girlfriend. And then suddenly Andy is there and he looked at me and says, he come to me like, hello. 
and it's how we met and we start dating so yeah we start dating uh, almost a year and then what happened before he died so but when i was dating him he was sober for some mm -hmm. he was sober he was not doing nothing so he had a big contract in london so he flew to london for this big uh, album and he overdosed he died mm -hmm. it was he was only 33 years old it's crazy mm -hmm. uh, so he was, overdosed why while you in were London. dating him, right? Yes, in but, London, he okay. overdosed, yeah. It's terrible, 33 years old. And he was the sweetest man alive. Sweet, like candy, beautiful, sweet man, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was not in love with him. I just loved being with him um, because mm -hmm. it was great. Everything was great. But uh, my real love was my first, my second husband. He was my real love, right. yeah. Now, I see you're on OnlyFans. I know you're doing really well on there. So talk to me yes. about OnlyFans and what made you decide to join and everything and what kind of things can people see from you? Everything. So I love <laughs> OnlyFans. I love it because I can interact with my fans and I have all these fans from all over the world that they follow me. Um, it's so beautiful to interact with them. You know what I mean? It's not like a, it's more personal than... Uh, by a movie, they're interacting with, with me. Um, and they ask me, oh, I would like a custom video. I would like that you wear this outfit and this and do this and that and that. And I do custom videos for them and it's paid really well. I do FaceTime, I do mm -hmm. phone sex, I do sexting, I do everything. And I enjoy very much, only fans is fun. It's fun. I live by myself, you know, in my home. I live alone, I don't have nobody. Um, now wait, hold you know, on, back they, up. Let's talk about, can, can you talk about phone sex for a second? Because I feel oh, like people don't really do that so much anymore. So oh, no, I went like a, only fun. Yeah, I went like a, I was, I was, I was just watching like like how horrible I am at, at phone sex. I know, so I feel like, can you give us I a know, little lesson? I am horrible at phone sex too. Like my voice. Can we, get, can we get like a phone sex lesson? Like how do you do it? How do we set it up? <laughs> Please, I need a lesson. Well, you have to talk very sexy, you know, and like uh, with sexy, you know, and tell them everything, you know, what they want to hear. They are they're very horny and they're ready to <laughs> explode. Um, so you have to do anything and to talk to them very dirty, you know, and with a sexy voice, very dirty and make them. Give us an of course. Give us an example. Yeah. Like talk to us like you're having phone. Have phone sex right now with Stephanie. Come on, yeah. Stephanie, you gotta yeah. do it too. Yeah. Have a sexy okay, voice. Okay, when I have I have phone sex with you, baby. Please. <laughs> oh, well, um, I never did phone sex with a woman, but let's try that you're a guy. Okay. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I never have phone sex with a woman. Never have. Perfect. Oh, baby. Oh, yes, I want to, oh, yes, I want to suck that cock so delicious you have that. I like to taste your pre -cum. It's so sweet, baby. Yes, I want to throw that cock. It's, oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, yes, I want to fuck my mouth really hard, baby, really hard until you explode. I want to drink everything, every drop. Yes, baby. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, that <laughs> is amazing. I'm That's it. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done, please. All right, all right. Password cutter, you try it. What? Your turn. Come yeah, on, try, 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 try me. Try me. Try me. Talk to me. I'll talk to you. I'm the worst. <laughs> okay. We're trying to teach you. You just said you were the worst. Let's learn. Come on. You say, you say, um, oh my cock, we have my cock is so fucking hard. Oh my God, it's like, a, oh yes, it's, you made me so crazy again, baby. I want to fuck in That's every hall. So I want to fuck Come on, Passport Cutty, come on, okay. jump in. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, baby. Baby. <laughs> You're, I, I can't wait till you fuck my pussy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> until, <laughs> yeah, I can't. 
Come on, you're doing good. You're doing good. Welcome back. I, 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 no, no, no. I want, tell me, I want your cock rolling my pussy. The hard cock rolling my pussy. I want it so you much. You know, guys I'm love dying. the word cock. Oh, I hate the word cock. That's the thing. No, guys like the word cock. Cock, sound, cock sounds like amazing. Like, it's not just a penis or a penis. Oh my God, Stephanie, you're very <laughs> informative. I should be taking notes. I should have a pen and a pad. Why Stephanie, you Stephanie, Stephanie, your turn. Do a little something. Come on, yeah, Stephanie. No. I, I can't. <laughs> your Why you can't? It's so easy. And I'm it's like, hey, you, you I know you like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got a New York accent. You'd be I, like, I, I, I'm come on, B, put your Timberlands under the bed. I could do, do a FaceTime sex. We could do a FaceTime sex all oh, day. Yeah, I, I love FaceTime. You know, so like, I do, yeah. you, shake, you, shake a, you shake a cheek for them, show them a titty. They come so, they come in two seconds. It's, it's over. amazing uh, how horny they are. Eh? It's crazy. Right? It's like, like yeah. FaceTime sex is way easier than phone sex. I know that for real. That's what yeah, I feel face, like. Phone sex is hard. Is it is. <laughs> yeah, because I be yeah, you have to you have to turn them on. It, 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 visually, it's very easy because you you do your stuff and they're turned on. But the phone sex is is this no, one. You, you have to just effort. be talk really dirty, you know. And hot, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed I'm that you guys didn't buy ever, this. We got it. I'm already really bad. Like even when they ask for pictures, like over and over again. I'm like, it's the same titties. Why do you want the same? Like, I just sent you a picture of those titties. Hey, <laughs> look at the picture. Go back. And oh my God. <laughs> and you got to do it. You know, come on now. You tell us. I bet you Angela could do it. She got a nice, sweet voice. You're exactly. Come on. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's already sexy. <laughs> I know, it just feels good because y'all are looking at me. Okay, so first of all, like we said, you got to use the word cock because people like the word cock when you're having phone sex, right? All like right. Like cucaracha. Oh, yeah, like it. <laughs> Not cucaracha, it's cock. Okay. All right, let me see, let me see. Uh, okay, okay, your cock is so amazing. I just want to taste it. Your turn. Now, now my friend, Password Cuddy, she wants to... Feel your big cock because I can't handle all of it. <laughs> Cuddy, what are you gonna and, do? And I need I'm help. Saying, Tag in. I you, you were doing a great in the beginning. But Thank that you. Just went left. I don't know what happened. That just went left. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, I feel like I could do it. And then it was like, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Cause but, listen, I do feel certain words like you know. What other words can you use for your pussy? Like it's just pussy. What other good words? Uh, pussy is, wow. I think only okay. one. And in, in, in Spanish is concha. In Argentina, concha. Oh, concha. that's a hotel in Puerto Rico. La concha. <laughs> La concha. La concha. Yeah. I, I love, love that hotel. Why? I, I didn't know that hotel. Love that hotel yeah. back in the And day. also they have in Mexico. This in Acapulco. This La Concha in Acapulca, the hotel, La Concha. So that hotel is called Pussy? Yeah. 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 In Mexico. Yeah, I'm saying they all the time. <laughs> yeah, but no, a Concha is more in Argentina because every Spanish country in every country is different. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so. the Spanish just changed through the islands as it changed. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's completely different in another yeah. country. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, yes. for so for everybody out there that wants to kind of like jump into making their own videos at home, since we all can't do phone sex, you can only do FaceTime sex. What are some good tips that like give us a good scenario that's like a good starter one? You know, like a delivery person. What's a good way to get jump into that? And FaceTime. Well, if FaceTime, no, in real life. In real life, if we wanted to do a video, right? Let's just say you want to start, okay, like, okay, I'll, video. yeah. What's a good first way to get into it that's comfortable? Uh, well, I always love to be a teacher, um, or oh, I love to be a secretary and have a very uh, a demanding boss. Uh, I like that. Hey, I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. The fun. teacher. Uh, I I I am a lot. Uh, um, 
also I shoot a lot of uh, my my best friend mother or oh, my baby. <laughs> La Concha. <laughs> That is my pussy. Do you like my pussy? <laughs> it only makes sense. <laughs> okay, so that's good. I like that. The teacher scenario is good. I always feel like yes, I love the breaking. picture. Yes. I like what about the, somebody I like breaking the, in? I like the dominating boss. Yes. The job yes. interview thing? The dominating boss is, is, a, is nice. I like that one. I like yeah. that one. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. And what about I, the scammer that's swiping the scammer that's swiping with some bags? I'm, well, I'm, I'm also can be nice, like uh, uh, um, somebody come to my house that's really hot and enter to my house, really hot guy, and wants to rape me. And I said, well, that wouldn't be rape. No, that would be a, a nice scene too. You know what I mean? So like, oh, oh my right. God, no, no, no. I was like, yes, 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 yes. So, <laughs> but then that I is true, a lot of porn. <laughs> A lot of porn is like you not wanting it, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, then it's a like, lot of scenes. I've seen no, them no. like, no, don't put it in my ass. No, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. <laughs> I don't usually watch the storylines. I like get straight to it. But no, I like I, a story. I, I like a storyline. I, I like, do. Yeah, I, la I love it. I like four minute clips. <laughs> yeah, I like a story. Ooh. Like, you know, go straight to the action. You know, some story, some life is fun. You know, I like role play. I, I have to have role play. Yeah, I agree. I think it depends on the role play. Like yeah. yeah. Sex like without with role fun. play is not fun. But it's no. It's, we are we are no animals. You know, we are not. Yeah. We are humans. So we like. Yes, that's right. Cutting it out. So we like. No, play. I like to watch it. Like. <laughs> like straight into action, but like in real life, I do like the foreplay. Yeah, oh, you know what I like. We should do a scene yeah. where somebody's like a realtor trying to sell you a house or something like that. Maybe like a HGTV type of. Um, oh yeah, I movie. did that. Like uh, I was a realtor. Uh, mm -hmm. I was I like this really very much. I have a, a very handsome black guy, that like, a model, no, like whew, huge, beautiful guy. And a very, very famous model. So I got to, and then I am a, a realtor who tried to sell the house for this guy. So that was a good thing too, a realtor, yeah, for the hot guy. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that. I like so many, there are so many scenarios, so hot, you know. It's, but it's, do, you, do you have any fetishes? Sorry? Sorry. Do you have any fetishes? Uh, yes, I have fetishes. Yes, yes. Like what? I have, what do you? I, what love, you? I love my my toes suck. I like my feet. Um, uh, my my toes. I love when they suck my toes and they massage my feet. That turn me on. It's like I love it. It's, it's so yeah. I like I like feet. Yeah, mm -hmm. my feet. Is there anything? Is there anything, I is there anything you haven't done? I like to suck my girlfriend's toes too. I love it, you know. Like, yeah. I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it's I think it's really sexy. Start with the feet, you know what I mean? And with, with beautiful feet, I start sucking those toes. Very sensual. I think it's very sexy. I think. Would you do that to a guy or just to your girlfriend? Uh, I did. It, I did yeah, but I, uh, uh, I, have, I have to be sure that they have nice, pretty, cute yeah. toes. You know what I mean? For sure, some guys they have ugly toes, but yeah. if they have nice, pretty, cute. Uh, a guy who takes care of himself, I can do it. It's no problem. I do it. I did it. I do it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you haven't done that you would like to do? That I, I was not. I I just I think I did everything, but. What else? I, I I I did everything that I want to do. <laughs> what else I want to do that I didn't do? Have you ever done um double? Have you ever done double penetration? Yes, yes, yes. I did double penetration. I did. I also did a gangbang with five guys. A, mm -hmm. a five hot young guys. I was hot. I was the only one in the whole video with five guys. It was a long I movie. I saw that one. You saw that I think one. I saw that one. Yeah, they, with five young guys, no? You yeah. Know, that was, that was, that they do everything I do. Internal, I do DP, I do almost everything. That, yeah. And then at the end, they all come in top of me like that. Well, yeah. That was a hard, 
What can be there now? What's sexy? But how hard is it to have sex with five guys at once? Oh, yeah, then yeah, you, are, you, are a bad, you are a bad girl. Like, you like no, I was doing my research. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, Cuddy. She's like, let's get right to it. No storyline. But, um, but is it like a competition for them sometimes? Because somebody might want to be like penetrating. Somebody might want to, like, how hard is it? Because you can't take care of five people at once. Right. Oh, Somebody out of uh, way. Two, 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 two hands. Yeah, no, yeah. I can take your five, for example. Two here, one, two, one three. in my mouth, three, and and, and two. Yeah, the other my two ladies. Yeah, you know, the Macarena. I think. Macarena. Yeah, a lot of action, no? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of action. Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. get along with other women in the industry? Yes, yes. I have girlfriends, really nice girlfriends in the industry. Uh huh. Yes, I get okay, along with everybody. I get along with everybody. I'm easy, very easy. So, very mm -hmm. easy going. Do you, so. do you want to get married again? No. No. <laughs> no. Nobody wants to get married. Life. No, no. I'm so happy. <laughs> I live by myself. I do whatever I want. I travel, and nobody tell me what to do. And you know what happened? I am when you get older, you get too picky. The, too picky. Mm -hmm. So then it's very hard. It's harder and harder and harder to find a partner when you are older because you're so picky. You know. So okay. I, and I, I am comfortable. When you live alone for a long time, you're so comfortable. So you you just don't want to be. I like to have my boyfriend, you know, but he has to be in his house. I'm in my house. We get together. We mm -hmm. have fun. And you can go to your house. I'm in my house. <laughs> I, like, I like my space, you know. It's, it's fun. It's my oh, space. Uh, because I am the same a, way. Yeah, you live alone too, no? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. yeah we all live, we all live alone. Place. Yeah, I have a boyfriend. You know, you have a boyfriend. You get together. You guys go to each other's houses, and then see you later. Uh, it works. Now, I don't want no commitment right now. I don't want. To, I am happy the way I am. I have friends uh, with benefits. You know what I mean? So no commitment. Right. Like, hey, okay, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, Do you no, miss no doing regular movies? Like regular mm -hmm. acting? Do you miss doing yeah. acting? Uh, yes, I miss. Uh, I was very good. I have. Uh, I was very good in my career. I was very good. But then what happened? I tried to go back after the my, La Madrid left. I went back with my ex, ex, second husband. I could go back to Mexico. I went back with him and some producers. Uh, my my ex manager producer wanted to hire me for a movie, but by then. They didn't pay really well, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. To be stuck in Mexico. And I'm so, I was so happy in Miami already, comfortable um, with my ex husband, and happy and um, life, money. I didn't want to go back by then, you know. Mm -hmm. You yeah. get used to, when you get used to the US, it's hard to go back to the third world, you know. And, and yeah. then that, because after that, really get really bad Mexico, a lot of crime. So thanks right. that I did it. A lot of crime in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Well, we're happy to have you here in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm so happy. I love my my America. I love it. Love. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank well, you. More here. I want to say thank you so much, Christina, aka Sexy Vanessa. How can people find you and subscribe to your OnlyFans, see your Instagram, and everything? By my OnlyFans.com, Sexy Vanessa. Um, uh, uh, Twitter, I am sexy Vanessa three, and um, mm -hmm. IG, I am it's uh, Vanessa one B. All right, we yeah. gotta work on our phone sex, ladies. We yeah. gotta work on our phone sex. That yeah. was terrible. I, 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 I can give you like, just call me anytime. I give you. <laughs> okay. I need start some. Practicing, I'm gonna hold you to that. Start practicing with your partner. You know what I mean? Pra it's all practice. That is fun. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, you have. No, I gotta practice. I need practice for real. I we need some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I that was helpful. A teacher. I can be a teacher, baby. I don't forget. I'm a teacher. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna She's a teacher. 
<laughs> Professor, <laughs> Professor Sexy Vanessa. Okay, well, if you could take us out of here with something sexy so we could go and like, you know, end the night like that, if you could just tell us some sexy things for us to practice. Sexy things? Mm, baby, you made me so horny. Oh my God, you drive me so crazy. You, you just look at me and, and you make my pussy wet. I just can't take it anymore. Just take me, baby. Take me. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you that so much. It's a lip I, service. Thank you so much. Thank that you. was to get it together. Thank you. She looks good. I had so much fun. It's so great. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't she looks good. Oh, and she my, sounds my good. Regimen for the skin. We didn't talk about that. Maybe. Oh, yeah. No, no. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us yeah. about your skin. You look beautiful. Well, I, I am a wrinkles free. I don't have no wrinkles because I use it for more than 30 years. Retinol. You have to use every night retinol. And uh, you exfoliate the dead cells all the time and you always keep perfect skin no no ring no one wrinkle you know you exfoliate mm -hmm. even if you have one scar a little scar it get rid of the scar marks it's fabulous retinol every drop every night one drop here one drop here 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 drop and you just uh, massage your skin your face you wait 20 minutes and you put your night creams okay every night and you see you're never going to have wrinkles now you okay. have to and a little, now. And, and, a, and a little bit of calm, right? <laughs> you never, you're gonna, honey, you're going to remember me in 30 years. You're never going to have wrinkles. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Well, you look amazing. Don't take it from you. Thank you. Bye. We love you.